All right, guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're back with the 2017 Tesla Model X and we have a new mod. So um, one thing, when we bought the car, everything opens automatically. The front doors, the back doors, the trunk, but the front does not. So if I just double click, all it does is just unlatch and then you have to manually come up and open it. Same thing goes to when you close it. So I actually use the front probably more than the, uh, the trunk just because I, I do like it that it's, it, it looks small, but you can actually fit a lot of groceries in here. And when you put stuff in the back, it's all over the place, even though it has compartments, but also, I have my charge on the back, so when I park my car backwards, when I walk out, I can just grab the groceries and it's just very convenient. One thing that sucks is you have your groceries and it's kind of hard then to close the, tr uh, the frunk. And then also in the winter, it's gonna get dirty, so you're gonna, you're gonna get your hands dirty. So I think this would be a great uh, function to install a power frunk. So we're gonna be working with hand show. Uh, you can originally open it up with your key uh, controller. It has different like, uh, oh, it's, I guess it's really quiet, decibel. So the way it opens up the motors, waterproof, adjustable height, and then intelligent intake pinch. So if you accidentally put your hand there, it's not gonna pinch it. It's gonna, um, I guess, open it back up. So if we open this up, here's what we got. So we got some manual for instructions. We got that. We got the two struts. So we got one there. And we got one there. I guess this is the computer. They'll be mounted somewhere inside. All the harness wiring with zip ties and some 3M tape, that, and then the, the actual latch. So it looks like we'll be replacing the latch too, unless, actually, you know, this looks like an attachment to the latch. Um, and then we have some brackets, some metal brackets, some screws. This looks like a, a safety release. And then some other brackets. So. So yeah, um, so yeah, we, like I said, never done it, but what you have to do is you have to pretty much take out this whole housing, take out the shell, and then there's a plastic shell, you have to unbolt it, and then you're gonna be able to access all the components and then work with the actual latch over here. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so first thing we do is we're gonna uh, remove the negative wire right here, just to get rid of all the power in the car. All right, so we did de-energize the battery. So we connected this uh, safety loop or emergency loop and then the negative right here. And there's no more power right there. So you can see the light is no longer glowing. So typically you wanna wait about maybe two minutes for it to fully de-energize. But also what I did was I opened up the two windows and I opened up the front door just in case I need to access the front or the car once everything's disconnected. Now again, if I do need to get more power, I can just easily connect it and I'm good to go, so. Okay, so we're gonna continue with taking out this uh, frunk. And this thing's pretty easy, just kind of goes around the gasket right here. And then yeah, just make sure you be careful to, um, not to pull out the, the two cables for the lights. Okay, so that's that. And then we got a bunch of screws, so there's probably like 20 screws or so. We'll also take this cover out. Lots of covers. Take out this cover. And then we'll take this guy out. Everything's just plastic. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew all these screws. All right, so that's all the screws, total of 20 screws. And we're able to now pull this shell out. 
All right, so it looks like we have to also remove the filter. So it looks like all the screws are out, so we just need to just pull it out. And just take it out. There it is. This is the big biohazard filter. This is about 500 bucks just for this filter. Okay, so we're gonna remove the original struts. So all it is, you just need a screwdriver and you gotta pry this. Did I pull it all the way? Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Does it hold? That's that thing's big. All right, and so same thing on the on the driver's side. So pretty straightforward. You just pull this little um, metal yep ring, and then you pull it out. Okay, then I'll hold it. Okay, there you go. There's the old one, and the new one just pops in. All right, so the next step is gonna be removing this original lock block spring, which is located right here. Okay. Okay, okay so there's that original spring. Right, guys so we had to turn the car around it got pretty dark so um one thing i did a mistake is i put these shocks without putting this bracket in there's a bracket in here that you have to replace and what it does it puts that ball a little bit lower than the original spot so those brackets you have to install first and then um i did remove more parts over here so this this panel right here i had to remove those a little challenging there's two screws over here that hold the button um, we remove the button, but yeah, there's two screws right here. So you have to kind of like really pry this. It's either take off the bumper or pry this out and like really put a little Allen wrench in there and unspin it. So other than that, not too bad. We, we got the, uh, the bracket in for the uh, latch. So it's all attached. So now we're kind of working on the electrical and um, we'll just kind of keep going. Okay, so we got everything connected. So I'll kind of show you what we got. So the two cylinders with the wires. So I have this wire kind of going along here and then I zip tie it to this tube, kind of route it below here, zip tie it right here. And then kind of all my wiring boxes all mounted right here uh, on the battery, pretty much metal box. I use that 3M tape and that's actually holding on a real tight. It's pretty good. So then, yeah, I have the positive going to the battery. Let me actually open this up and show you. So I have that to the battery and I have the negative going to the negative right there. So pretty straightforward there and then it has a little fuse in there. So that's that and then obviously the wire for this uh, driver cylinder and then we have all the wires going to the latch. It's going right here and it's going underneath and then I have that motor latch kind of mounted on this guy right here. Um, so that's over there and then we have all the wiring falling to the connection right here and then you also have to take take out this cover, you already closed it, 
for the emergency release or if, if you lose power, if you need to access it, it's got a little pull string that you add it and it opens up the trunk. But it works great, so I'll kind of show you, demonstrate it. So this box has settings, so you can set it. There's three settings, or sorry, there's six settings, so you can have at the slowest, uh, which is one beep, and then six beeps, beeps is gonna be your fastest. So if I double click, just my original key, I close it. Now there's still some wiggle room because I still gotta put some plastics and the bump stops, but um, that'll be fixed. And then double click and it opens it up. So I have it right now set to the fastest speed. All right. Um, yeah, what I did also with that beeper, it's pretty loud. I went and duct taped it just to kind of mute it a little bit because it was really loud. So yeah, now all I gotta do is just put it all together and we're good to go. So we are done with the task. That took about three, three and a half hours. So a little lengthy, but I'll be honest, it's worth it. So like I said, Tesla Model X, S, Model 3, why they don't come with power trunks, which is unfortunate, I don't know why. Um, even the 2022, they still don't have it. Um, you know, cars like uh, the Ford F-150 Lightning, that comes with the power trunk. Um, well, else? the uh, Lucid Air, they all have power trunks, but Tesla does not. So um, I started you know, researching and I came across the website and I was really, really impressed with what they had to offer and uh, I think the installation process was pretty straightforward. Again, it's it's a little bit complicated in some areas, but it's not too bad. So, um, so like I said, it works with the original key or with the infotainment center in the screen or with your phone. So you just double click, just like you would normally would when it unlatches, it does the full power trunk. Um, you can see this is all still good. It's not rubbing because the old shots are really, really thin. Uh, these are a little bit thicker, but no rubbing. Um, everything's good on this side and it closes really good. So double click and it closes. So I love it. I think this would be great. Um, they also offer, uh, one where you can come and swing your foot and it'll open. Uh, but this one did not. So again, this is the hand show power front and these go for $500 for the 26 into 2021 and then i believe they're like about 570 for the 22 and plus so yeah great uh, i love it you can adjust the height you can um have some settings it's the system is all waterproof so when i was put in there i was kind of worried because it's all going underneath on uh underneath the cabin where the trunk is but uh, i think it's not really good so yeah very good so uh the link will be in the description you can get 10 percent off um, so go ahead and use it. But uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching our videos. Uh, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.